The Coach Curl podcast is brought to you by Think and Grow Business, the home of the Think and Grow Business Mastermind. If you're serious about growing your business, get serious and join a mastermind group today. Find out more at thinkandgrowbusiness.com.au. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here and welcome to episode 184 of the Coach Today's Leader, the Coach Curl podcast today. I survived COVID-19 for this. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Keep it going. Good job, guys. All right, Paul. I see How are we? It's episode 184 of the Coach Curl podcast, today's leader. And as we know, we are in lockdown. We are in isolation. And as with many, many people around the world, economies have shut down, doors have been closed, and we've all been told to stay at home and stay safe. So... What happens when we come out of this is the question that some are starting to ask, and so they should. And today's podcast is all about one of the questions that I know is going to be asked by people when we're through all of this. Now, it may not happen on their first day back at work. It may not happen on their first week back or maybe even the first month. But I'm assured, I'm assured that it will happen. And it won't happen to everyone, but it will happen to maybe more than what we realise right now. I'm talking about Groundhog Day. I'm talking about that concept of same crap, different day. And... What am I really meaning by this? There will come a time where people, maybe you, will look around you when when all of this is over. There will come that time when people will look around, look around at the people that you work with, look at the ideals and the values of the businesses or the companies or organisations that you're working for and ask themselves... I survived COVID-19 for this shit. Same crap, different day. Now imagine for a moment that feeling. Just imagine the incredible hardships that we've all faced, the financial struggles, the health anxieties that you've overcome to simply return to a career that in the best of times you didn't like. In the best of times... You didn't like. Imagine that. You've endured the hardships. You've endured the anxiety. You've endured the stress. To suddenly come to the realisation that you survived COVID-19 for this shit. Consider the months of lockdown. Consider how those months of lockdown potentially had you wishing, hoping, and maybe even praying that the job that you had still existed when the world returned to normal. The boss of yours, that boss, the one that you never saw eye to eye with, seems to have taken their disdain to the very next level. Due to their own anxieties, of course, they've doubled down on their behaviours and they've got that little bit of that old school paradigm starting to kick in. You should be grateful for the job that you have. I survived corona for this. Now this thought will this thought will apply to many when the resumption of inverted brackets or inverted commas normal comes about. Guaranteed. This thought will apply to many. And one of the things that I, I know is that everything is exaggerated in a crisis. Now, I've spoken and coached with many leaders during this crisis, and this statement rings true. Everything is exaggerated in a crisis. It rings true in so many ways, in so many um, 
circumstances that have been shared with me. The anxiety and stress around the fear and uncertainty has caused enormous amounts of indecision and procrastination. Leaders simply unable to move forward due to the crushing feeling of the crisis that envelops them. I've seen leaders reaching out for any semblance of control. Leaders that have thrived on control. And they've reached out and they've latched on to any semblance of control, becoming minute micromanagers, dealing in the miniature and frustrating and annoying their teams no end. The ambiguous nature of the end date has created this flow-on effect with little urgency being exhibited by some, even though they may have great intentions to grow, amend, adjust, rejuvenate. Our governments have talked about hibernation. And it's one that some will, some of you will have taken quite literally in during endless days on the couch. I survived corona for this. You see, everyone had the same opportunity. While buried deep in the crisis, there are opportunities. There are choices. So while we're buried deep in this crisis still, we are all faced with choices. Very similar choices when it comes down to it. And we're all faced with those choices. Then these choices are really quite simple. We could watch the news and the media endlessly, sinking deeper and deeper into the mess that surrounds us. Or maybe we could have questioned what's happening and dived enthusiastically down that rabbit hole, looking for the conspiracy and someone to blame. Maybe we surrendered and did nothing. Endless Netflix, endless chill, avoidance of the future. Maybe we got angry and took it out on those people that are close to us. Or maybe, just maybe, we took this time to grow. We took this time to take the opportunity to better ourselves or our businesses. Maybe, just maybe, we reflected. We reset. We refreshed. And we recovered. The world has changed. And if you haven't moved forward in a positive way, you will face that conundrum. I survived COVID-19 for this. What can you do? Because it's not too late. Because leaders show up in a crisis. Leaders show up in a crisis. They get exposed in a crisis. So your leadership skills your lack of leadership skills get exposed in a crisis. So I really want you to think about that. And I want you to think about what you want to take away from this crisis. What do you want to remember it for? What have you learnt? How you've grown? Or what you improved would be some really cool things to be able to think back as your legacy in and around what the COVID-19 crisis did? Or are you going to be thinking about the opportunity that you missed? I survived I, I survived COVID-19 for this. It will be there initially when normal returns. You may be grateful, you may be thankful about returning to a job, a career or a business, but that will be short-lived. In a crisis, there is always opportunity. Are you equipped to take yours? Hey, thanks for listening to this week's episode of Today's Leader, the Coach Curl podcast. A huge shout-out to the teams at Think and Grow Business and the Coach Curl Academy for your ongoing support. Um, if you are looking for that opportunity to grow, you should check out the Coach Curl Academy at thecoachcurlacademy.com or book in your free discovery session now at thinkandgrowbusiness.com 
www.ngoesmoney.com.au. Remember, what you've conquered everything that has been thrown at you to now, till now. You are stronger, you are braver, you are wiser. And don't ever forget the golden rule. Yes, you know what that is. Just don't be an arsehole. I'll see you next week. Thank you.